Well, hey friends, welcome back to The Honey's Dead. I promised y'all on my last garden tour video that my next video would be taking you guys up to the apothecary and showing you how to make a cold infusion with uh, marshmallow or common mallow, um, Althea officinala, and I'm really bad at pronouncing. So the human in me, mm -hmm. we were kind of hit with a little bit of a a little bit of a stomach thing that was kind of going around. Anyways, marshmallow was our, our go-to. Uh, mallow was our go-to. Now this is the root. This has been cut and sifted and I did source this from Frontier. I do try to write on the back where I source it from if it's something that I don't physically go and, and grow here. And I always write the common name as well as the scientific name and uh, typically I have a log that I also keep the source where I got it from, whether I wildcrafted it or um, sourced it. This came from Frontier. My garden is growing mallow and I'm hoping that my next the next time I fill this jar is gonna be with my own my own herbs, my own plants, and that's one of the reasons why we are growing, growing an abundance of herbs this year. But mallow is one that that I've used in multiple ways. Tea, primarily, or infusion, is kind of kind of my go-to. We're gonna set this up and we're gonna talk about all the goodness, and I believe, I think. I asked my daughter to bring my grandmother up here so that she can come and watch and possibly be a part of this if she would like. So if you hear in the background, it's because I'm trying to uh, have her spend some time up here. And it sounds like the dog is also here too, but the dog stays outside. Grandma can come inside. Let me go get her situated. I'll be right back. You got your book? Yeah, I bring my red book. <laughs> so what you're gonna need for this recipe is one ounce of your marshmallow root to four cups of, of room temperature or lukewarm water, cold water. You can do hot water, but I'll tell you with the hot water, what I found is when we've added the marshmallow root into a tea blend, the hotter the water, the mucilage that is inside the root will actually become a little bit thicker. So cold water infusion is great. Um, but you're gonna need one ounce of your root to uh, four cups of, of room temperature water. I've got my Berkey that we're gonna use our water um, from. I absolutely love that. It's filtered, it's room temperature, it tastes amazing. What you wouldn't wanna do is probably use like a tap water. Um, so try to get spring water or a really good filtered water. I, I absolutely love my Berkey water filter. Um, one, because we this is a dry apothecary. So that is my water source. And two, it just makes all the water taste completely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and get four cups of, of room temperature Berkey water. And I'm using a quart size mason jar because that is actually uh, four cups of water that you can use. You can actually just use your mason jar to measure it out. Some people would actually just put the herb in it. You can also use uh, like a, a strainer to put the herb in to just let it sitting in the water and then the mucilage just kind of falls down from there. But we're gonna use just a quart. It's just easier. Make it easy. That, that'll do. I've got my marshmallow root, and then I've got my uh, four cups of cold water or room temperature water is just fine. I brought another mason jar. I'm gonna see if I can pour it in. Uh, probably gonna make a mess. And then I do have a scale. I, I will say I've had a lot of people ask about the scale that we use. I, I did put this on our Amazon storefront, but mainly because I do like that it's stainless steel and it's easy for me to uh, to use the bowl and disinfect it. And then I've got my scoop. Now, marshmallow root is one of these plants that really produces a, a thick mucilage. The leaf is more common for your urinary and respiratory, but the root mainly focuses on the your digestive health. So if you are fighting something um, with your gut health, okay, whether it's 
it's uh, gastritis and upset stomach. We hit, we got hit with a stomach bug. So I turned to this and that really helped soothe the membranes that are from my throat and all the way. Um, this is basically, you know, you nourish your skin, um, but you don't think a lot about your actual digestive health. And I think more and more people are starting to understand the importance of your digestive health. Your digestive health basically helps maintain your body's homeostasis, your body's ability to stay in balance. So if your gut health is off, what's going to happen? So we want to focus on our gut health. We want to nourish the gut health. I've heard marshmallow root being referred to like when you drink it as a cold infusion. I've heard it referred to as uh, a coating that, that just coats all of from your mouth all the way out. And I'm living proof <laughs> that it has been very helpful and supportive and not just me, but other family members that I have. Um, so I, I would definitely look into to marshmallow root, um, do some reading about leaky guts. This might be something very beneficial for people who are, are suffering from um, autoimmune uh, disorders and gut health. Uh, leaky gut being a big one, um, but it can be also beneficial for somebody who's experiencing a sore throat, just that mucilage. Now the flavor, the flavor is a little interesting. I, I can't quite put, I can't quite put a name <laughs> to what I think that it tastes like. It's very earthy, but it doesn't taste bad. Now I've been playing around with instead of just doing a cold infusion of just the marshmallow root, um, adding in some just honey, some basic honey, uh, just a little bit, just to give it a little sweet taste to it. Honey also has medicinal properties that a lot of people completely overlook. They think that honey is just a sweet treat that you can add into your tea, but honey has a lot that it can offer. Um, not only is it very nourishing, it's got all the minerals that our body needs. So if you are experiencing something that is very like diarrhea, um, dehydration, you, you need to nourish your body and honey, honey has that capability um, to offer that for supporting. So why not pair honey with your marshmallow root as a cold infusion. And it's going to make it taste just a little bit better. And I'll also share that marshmallow, uh, mallow, actually, this is what they used to make uh, marshmallows with. Now I've had them before. It's completely different than the marshmallow that you're going to get from the store, but it is an alternative option that you can use. That's not packed full of a bunch of randomness. Um, so again, they, it tastes a little bit different, but I do think that it is interesting how back in the day eating a, a marshmallow, like if your throat's sore, eating a marshmallow and it is soothing to your throat. Well, this, this is the reason this plant right here, this root will do the same thing and you can grow it. You can uh, regenerate it. You can keep it growing. You can use the leaves, the flowers, and and the roots. But the root, I think, is has been my go-to. I'm gonna pour off. I'm gonna measure out one ounce. I gotta turn it my way, or else I'm gonna just keep pouring. <laughs> and I tend to have a heavy hand, so yeah, I'm trying not to make a mess either. So we're gonna do one ounce. Now roots are a lot heavier than your leafed herbs. So it might not seem like a whole lot, um, but trust me, yeah, we are good. And this is what it looks, nope, that's not gonna work. Be right back. And this is what it looks like. I tend to make a mess, so I did go ahead and get my funnel, but I don't know if I'm, might not even need this. Nope. Great for me. Now, what you're gonna do, fill it up. Oh, I am gonna need this. This is where I tend to make my mess. And then I'm gonna just pour my water. 
I measured it out, but you can absolutely just fill your jar. Essentially, you just wanna fill, make sure your jar is pretty much full. And then you are, you can put your lid on. I give it a good shake. The plant matter is gonna kind of stay up on top, but then after a while, you'll see a huge difference in the actual water. It'll have like a kind of a like a slimy mucilage. Now, again, digestive system, mouth all the way out. Any issue that you might be experiencing with um, just inflammation, um, you just need something that's gonna just coat all of those membranes. We are really good at not bearing very easy with our digestive health. I mean, we drink coffee. What does coffee do if you drink red wine? So you, you, yes, there's a fine line between having coffee and having things that um, might not be that great for your digestive health. I mean, I love my coffee, don't get me wrong, but I'm also realizing that I do need to focus on putting a coating over my digestive health um, so that hopefully I can maintain this homeostasis, maintain a good balance, maintain good health, and not keep doing some damage to myself. Um, but I do want you to do your own research on marshmallow root. I want you to see if this might be a plant that might be supportive for your health. Um, so I always tell everybody to do your own research. It's only going to make you a better herbalist. And then it's only going to better you because you're going to have the information that you need to be able to help yourself or help somebody else that might need some help. Now, after you do this, you can let it sit. Um, I've had it, I've let it sit for an hour and had some. Uh, I've let it sit overnight. So tomorrow I will have it after you know, 24 hours, but if you need it, you can have it. It might not be as much mucilage if you drink it right away. Um, but I think what we'll do is I'm going to let this sit and then we're going to come back and I'm going to strain it out and I'm going to show you how, how you just, how you drink it. You know, that was easy. That was easy. You put your roots in your jar, you add your water. You're going to let it sit for an hour at least, um, preferably overnight just on your counter and come back and, and drink it. And you're, um, I, I would say too that for my situation, for our situation, we did see a pretty within 24 hours noticeable change after, after drinking the, the marshmallow root cold infusion. Um, but if you're using it for something specific, now we used it during our, our stomach bout, but if you're using it for something that is like severe um, colitis or something a little bit heavier in your digestive health, um, give yourself time to, to let these plants support your body. This is one thing that I want to tell you um, because I know a lot of people who have might have tried herbal medicine and they're like oh it doesn't work because they're looking for immediate reaction we are we live in a world of instant gratification we want to take something and feel something it's easy for certain plants like for you okay drinking coffee you have an immediate reaction what does it do it wakes you up because of the caffeine that's in it but you do need to give yourself a little bit of time uh, to let let the mucilage uh, coat your digestive system. Let let it do what it's supposed to do. Our our body is really good at helping itself if we give it the tools that we might that it might need. You want to see it? Mm -hmm. So this is the marshmallow, mm -hmm. the root. Mm -hmm. So you know how marshmallows that mm -hmm. you would eat. This is how they would make the marshmallows. <clears throat> They would pull, they would use the root to make the marshmallow, but we have it soaking in some cold water and see how the water is getting kind of cloudy? Yes. That's the mucilage. So. Change wait. color. Yep, it's yeah. gonna change a little mm -hmm. color, but this is what's gonna help help nourish your, your gut. So when you're hot, when your gut's upset, heartburn, mm -hmm. when you're, you know, you've, you've just really just, especially heartburn, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. When you drink this, 
it's gonna it's, a, it's gonna coat everything so it's gonna like make that. it's gonna make it it kind of cover it yeah yeah so yeah pretty cool my goodness and this you're is telling me this man. is a plant mm -hmm. and it has big beautiful and flowers with, uh, with where you get your marshmallow so this one i sourced but we have some growing in the Jungle garden garden mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. pretty cool it's neat you're gonna drink some yeah it's <laughs> you try a little bit a little bit yeah. yeah we can do that yeah so but a lot of people don't know about this mm -hmm. plant and they have so many issues with their but stomach yeah, yeah. so okay. let's let's show them how that they can help themselves mm -hmm. that's what we're doing it's incredible how do you learn all this uh, i went to school yeah and i love i love learning mm -hmm. i never want to stop just like you. You're learning every day. Yeah, you got that right, honey. <laughs> I was over there to do my break. I stopped and I listened to you and yeah. said, you good. Well. Yeah, your mommy mentioned this to me. Yeah. It's good. And she's she's good. She's getting involved. Oh, she's you, amazing. You, yeah. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. She's smart, too. Yes. I would get it from the best. Mm-hmm. So. So it's been a couple of hours and you can see it's ooh, very mucinology. Um, we're gonna look at the texture. Um, the actions that marshmallow root offers, mainly the ones I'm kind of sharing with you, it is a demulcent, it's a, an emollient, it's also an anti-inflammatory, it's a diuretic, um, and really the mucilage is what we are, what we are excited about for our digestive health. What I want to show is how how simple you can put this together and use it. There are um, some safety concerns, though. I will put that out there. Basically, if you're if you're taking marshmallow root, you do have to be careful about taking it with other medication because of the the mucilage and what it's doing to your digestive system and how it's coating it and how it's kind of soothing it, it could mess with the absorption of any uh, any drugs you're using with it. So I'm gonna pour off just a little bit because I'm gonna try to, try to show you. Um, did I say expectorant? I think I said expectorant. Pretty sure I said expectorant as well. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more because my stomach's kind of been upset. So it doesn't look too, too bad. It's gonna be room temperature. I'm telling you what, this is, was a game changer for, for our upset stomach. Um, I could have filtered it a little bit more. I still have a little bit of some marshmallow root in it, but I'm not too concerned. I wanted to pull reference to uh, for you guys. Um, this is the Medical Herbalism book by by David Hoffman. This is a great book, one that we use quite often um, because we always wanna go back to our references and double check, triple check, especially if you are learning. And it's always good to have a few different references. Now I've had a lot of people ask about my books that we use up here. I have them in a whole list of, of all the books that we actually have here in our apothecary. Um, under our Amazon storefront under the books. I will put that link down below if you guys are curious about any of the books um, but I just wanted to read because I found some more information on on How marshmallow root can be beneficial not just to your digestive health But they gave the following specific indications uh, acute respiratory disease um, gastroenteritis peptic ulcer cystitis urethritis inflammation of the mouth and the throat Flamed hemorrhoids, wounds, burns, scalds, bed sores, abscesses, boils, and skin ulcers. So that same concept of how it has the polyphenols in it um, that will help protect your cellular structure against the oxidative stress. But I wanted to share that with you because I thought that it was kind of interesting knowing and reading about how marshmallow root is, acts as kind of a, a barrier to your to your digestive system, but then finding out that it is also beneficial for external, for your wounds, for your burns. And it's from a plant that you can 
grow, you can harvest and you can use. And before I drink it, I'm just gonna kinda take my hand and I wanna kinda show you. I don't know if it's gonna catch it. Maybe not. Maybe not that great on camera, but it's very slippery like. Which, another popular plant, um, a slippery elm, but one that that we have to be mindful about harvesting. Um, so another option that is fairly easy to come by is marshmallow root. And the polyphenols that are in it and what it's doing to your body and how it's it's offering support for hot inflamed areas I think is great. So I'm going to, I would add some honey into it, but I don't want to open a new jar. So we're just going to tip it back. It doesn't really have that much of a flavor. So it's not too bad. The after kick is a little bit right in the, right in the back, but I don't know. I mean, I think it tastes just fine. I do like it a little bit colder, so when you put it in the refrigerator, it's a little easier, it's very cooling. Um, this is something maybe you just drink on an empty stomach. Make sure that you drink it at least uh, by day three. Any longer than that, probably not that great. And yeah, that is a little information about marshmallow root. There is a lot more about marshmallow as the whole plant. We'll get into more of that later. And if you guys want to, to do your own research, share some of the things that you found. Every herbalist has their own different experience with this plant. Um, my relationship with marshmallow root has been very soothing. And it feels really good to be able to have something that you can offer um, to yourself or to a family member who just might not be doing that hot with some type of funk <laughs> that is going around. So as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.